It's the time! Package from China time, so let's go! <laughs> hey hey, welcome back to the channel, it's awesome that you're tuning in. In today's video we are going to do a chit chat regarding, not Pandora's box, actually a prototype that had been sent in for purpose for review. Okay, so first of all, nobody can actually buy my opinion or sending free stuff doesn't even affect that too. Because I am the wicked boy and if you're naughty, you're going to be whipped. Yeah. But in here we're finding the new retro shooter light gun solution. And when they announced it, I was thinking, oh man, this is going to be absolutely legendary. So we're going to be doing an overview and for a prototype, it's kind of flabbergasting when it comes to the overall quality already. So when you're going to be seeing this like for the first time, particularly on this light gun, it's absolutely a very cool looking piece of equipment that you can add to your retro shooter arcade machine or something else, or just buying kit. But why I am so excited has to do with many different features of this light gun. Or actually it's not really a light gun because it uses like say sensor technology. We're going to be discussing everything, what you can do with it and why this thing is so legendary. But let's do a quick overview of the light gun itself. So the light gun, what is this actually in prototype, already wanted to showcase that the quality itself is absolutely great. But it's going to be even better, he's told me, with the final product. So one of the things I find really appealing is the way how the grip is and the comfortability. I mean, you can see over here, we're having some very nice ergonomic situation. If you're going to be holding this thing in your hand and your thumb is laying into this piece. Makes it very comfortable and very nice. It also got a very nice weight to it. And of course, the all famous sliding. And the slider top at the top is going to be giving you this very cool, authentic arcade experience with LEDs. Over here, some extra features for adjusting the light gun. But let's connect it and show you what it can actually do. So first of all, we're having a USB connection they will put in your retro box or your PC. And this is going to be needing a hub for the 20 volt. Yep, this is 20 volt, so be very careful with it. So you cannot use all parts, maybe from your old retro kit that you already purchased. And here we're having two Firebase connections. The Firebase is actually the connector that communicates with everything. So what you need to be very careful with. So we're having two versions over here. I do have both of them because actually I had the MX-24 light guns too. So this is the old version. We're not going to be needing it. And how you know it's an old version, you can already see like if you're going to be playing the games, well, search the differences. You can see everything has been changed out throughout, let's say the new version over here. However, this thing is 12 volt only and you can just see it over here where you're going to be plugging in your adapter. Be very careful, don't plug anything else in it. 24 volts will instantly fry it, so you can throw it away. So we're going to be using this hub or this fire base. You can see that it's 12 volt and 24 volts, so that's kind of cool. What actually happens with the 20, 24 or the 12 volts, that the LEDs at the front will change colors. So everything is going to be implemented, the stuff that you're going to be needing. But of the fun fact that we're going to be doing is plugging in the power supply now, so I can show you all of the features. So also this is not in my kit, this was my old kit, had the 24 volts, but I'm understanding if you're getting the full kit with light guns, everything will be implemented in the kit itself. So it's ready to go and plug and play. Okay, so we've plugged in the power supply, we can turn it on and off over here. You can see we're having purple LEDs saying that it is activated. We're going to be connecting it like this. We don't have a computer set up and we don't going to be needing it for testing the light gun itself. Going to be plugging the USB in the USB. We need to connect everything, otherwise it doesn't do anything. So, okay, we're going to be plugging in the recall and ready to go. But what makes this light gun so cool? So, the first thing I love about it, that this is a standalone device. Meaning that we don't need any external software to actually configure it. Yep, that is one of those very cool features Retro Shooter does a great job with. So, but we do have a lot of buttons that we can configure if you're going to be connecting this to a PC. We're having the joystick for navigation, even with and click. We're having two buttons over here. We can map for going in and out of menu. Over here, an extra button with your thumb. So if you want to use that for reload, we're having reload in the bottom part. And over here, we're having even a slider. But it's cool if you're going to be shooting. See, the force feedback is quite good. It also has an LED that's going to be flickering or actually having this sliding effect. That's kind of cool. So if you're going to be putting the slider in a different position, we're going to be having a different effect. And that is even another cool thing I like about it. 
But one of the many questions I noticed is people asking me, can you shut down the recall? Yeah, you can plug out, let's say the power supply, but that would not be very convenient. And they have been listening to the community. If you're going to be sliding this in the middle, you don't have any recall whatsoever. If you're going to be sliding it at the right, we have single shot. And if you're going to be sliding it to the left, we're going to be having rapid fire. And this is going to be super convenient if you want to play games like, you know, let's say Alien. And I think, I think that is an absolutely awesome future. So this thing can pack with all kinds of cool stuff. So for example, if you want to change out the LED over here, we can just hold it for a couple of seconds. And you can actually change everything out in different kind of colors. But you can also just shut it off if you want to. So what I also understand there are even methods if you want to like say swap, let's say the reloading buttons, you can also do that. At the bottom part we're finding all kinds of dip switches. I don't want to go in depth about this, but what you can actually do is switching out all kinds of stuff in combination with the recall speed and stuff like that. However, that is one of the things I wanted to say, like why this thing is like a standalone, like a piece of hardware. We can tweak it as we want, configure it and just play the way you want to. But how about the competition and other stuff? So this is the old school retro shooter. Will this be an upgrade? Yes and no. Why is it actually yes? Because of many different features. I like this when it comes to, let's say, the solenoids. This was like a very cool, let's say, new way to play. It was a smaller light gun, so it was convenient for every kind of hands. However, this thing is a little bit more heavier and a little bit more clunkier. But the recall is something I really wish I had in the first. <laughs> I thought like when I were like releasing this little freaking bloody thing, why did it do that in the first place? However, so when it comes to the price points, what I understand of, it's in a very, I'd say there is a difference, but not like a massive gap between the two light guns. So it's interesting marketing and so they having light gun for everyone. But there's one thing I just want to point out. Some time ago I reviewed and I bought these like a very expensive Nemco from RPGA Electronics. And the gun for our, like the Nemco ones, are supreme quality. This is like the ultimate next level. But if I had these from Retro Shooter, it was highly possible I didn't even buy these Nemco ones. Because when you're looking at the price point, you can buy actually, let's say, if you're buying two of these, you can maybe buy more eight of them, some kind of like a situation. Yep, they are like super expensive. However, when you're going to be looking at the recall, that's a fun thing to check out. <laughs> All the cable spaghetti over here. So this is the original retro shooter. You know, that is a kind of cool thing going on. Then having the new version. And then let's go to a short part where I tested out the Nemco guns itself. Both of them are Nemco, let's say, arcade ones. What is interesting that this one sounds kind of different. And I do like it because when it comes to both of the light guns, you do have a very cool, let's say, different sound effect. So when you're going to be pointing them to the screen itself, you're going to be activating. When you're going to be seeing the mouse cursor, then it's going to be activated like that. Now you can just actually see on screen they're having a mouse pointer. And the features are exactly the same. So with having a single shot, but if you're going to be using it in rapid fire, you can hold it. And yeah, it's absolutely amazing with games like Revolution X. And if you want to go full Rambo style with both of the light guns, this is just crazy. And I can tell you, oh boy, it makes a lot of noise to the point that it's not going to be good for your ears. But the Nemco guns are maybe the best one, but we're not going to be chit-chatting about it or doing any more comparisons, simply because it's like a completely different price class. But let's do a chat that and also on gameplay more about the Retro Shooter new model, because this thing, oh man. We chit-chat about everything when it comes to, let's say, the hop, the light gun situation, but let's do a chit-chat about the LEDs, because that's what we're going to be needing. So the old version had two, let's say, sets, and personally, I just like them. They were like super easy to add on your television or your monitor and that's why I really love them. However, it's going to be a little bit more hassle but it's going to be giving us so much more accuracy with the four LEDs. I don't know if they have like different versions when it comes to maybe remote ones with batteries, I have no idea. But we're going to be having this 
cable nightmare of all kinds of USB cables. Connecting this to my monitor, sending everything up so we can actually play and use the new light gun. But let's say you're having this retro shooter box or a PC from Chris Komod. So what I love about these things, because they're so universal, you can actually use it fairly easy. You can see navigating with the joystick because this box, but also his PCs are configured with retro shooter. So if you're grabbing one of them and you think, hey, I'm just going to be plugging it in, as everything should be, it seems to be working as it, as it is like a plug and play situation. And that is what I think is kind of cool. So everything has been set up, but we just dive into a couple of games to see how this actually works out. But I just love how accurate this is, you know, even with a lot of lighting here in the studio We can just fairly easy play these games. So let's get him some point blank. Of course point blank I'm always playing this on my time crisis cabinet from our cave up. So cool uh, Let's see how we can implement the start. Okay, pressing the button over here. We'll activate that Man, I'm really liking this so first of all, let's try a normal game, and I mean particularly just with a single shot. We can just have rapid fire going on, we're going to be switching. A little bit of bullets, and let's see if we can shoot the guys. With the Soar 4 sensors, I do notice that it is so much more accurate. Of course, I'm using this on a 24-inch display, but if you're going to be using this on a massive display, it's going to be having so much more benefit. But I can tell you that the recoil is absolutely nice. Where I noticed when my Namco guns they were like super overkill, this is a nice balance. Oh yeah! <laughs> Come on, the last one! Oh yeah! <laughs> well, let's have some fun with some confidential mission. And yeah, this thing is absolutely accurate. I love it. Reloading can be done by two buttons, so that's super easy. I did notice I need to get a little bit of distance from my screen to get the best result. At first I was a little bit too close to it. But if you're going to be comparing this with the first generation of retro shooter, like there was nothing wrong with that because it's a lot of fun. Like recall is recall, everything is better than nothing. But when you're actually going to be getting this as a slider, the recall overall arcade experience is so much better. But when I mentioned before, like when you're comparing this with like the Namco ones I'm having, those are like really aggressive. But that would have like a massive, crazy price difference. And for what you're actually getting with this, I'm really looking forward to the final product to see what they improved and how that one will look and sound and play in the end. In the next game, we're going to be utilizing the rapid fire. Yep, because that is just another cool way to play. What I love about it is that we don't have any delay, but actually when I'm pressing the button, it shoots and the recoil is quite accurate, out of the box. And this is one of those cool things I just missed out with many light gun solutions. And again, if you don't want to use the recoil, you can just shut it off and just play like that. But for me, that's not the same fun. Haha, <laughs> let's turn it back on. Oh yeah. And in the next part, let's connect the Chris Cool Mod Mini PC. He also has these, like say, very cool retro B light gun if you have your own PC. And combining this with this, is, this light gun is going to be even like the next level. And with the Chris Cool Mod, we're having the next level of the retro light gun situation with even more systems. Yeah, we do have like 8-bit, 16-bit, but we had it before. Now we're even having Techno Parrot and many other devices. And that makes this light gun combined with the Chris Cool Mod, the hard drive or the PC complete kit, absolutely great. Like with the other product, if you're going to be messing with it, you can see we can fairly easy navigate to the menu because Retro Shooter did an amazing job with making these devices universal. So if you have like the MX-24, the first one doesn't matter, you plug it in and it works. But in the end, there are many different ways to play. And this retro shooter is absolutely upgrade from the last one. And maybe this is going to be my main for now. However, I want to thank you all for watching. Consider subscribing and let me know in the comments what do you think of this new 3A retro shooter light gun thingy. 
Do you think it's worth it for the awesome recall or do you going to be sticking with the one you're using now? And it would be great to see you in the next video. Mm.